Hello students, today I have prepared a video lecture on a topic called as TMN where TMN stands for Telecommunication Management Network. Before starting with TMN, uh, here there is an image showing TMN management layers with the hierarchy shown over here starting from NEL which means node element layer, element management layer, network management layer, service management layer and it goes to BML which stands for business management layer. Talking about the network management layer basically deals with F caps where F cap stands for starting from the letter F fault management, configuration management, accounting management, performance management and security management. When we talk about fault management, basically it looks after the alarm and troubleshooting detection and alarm forwarding. Also sometimes it deals with diagnosis of the faults and the alarm. And how to recover the problem which have occurred due to some threshold crossing. When we talk about configuration management, it basically deals with provisioning of the services, backup and restore, as well as database and inventory management. When we talk about accounting management, it basically looks after tracking of service usage and proportionally the bill record of it. It also deals with SLA, where SLA stands for service level agreement, which takes place between the service provider and the customer. Talking about the performance management, it deals with data collection, report generation, the data analysis and the performance monitoring. And finally, about the security management, it deals with the security of different node elements and maintaining the different access log to ensure the authenticated and authorized users are being accessing the network. So today in detail we will try to understand what is basically TMN and its related important diagrams. So basically TMN, what is TMN? TMN provides management functions for telecommunication network and the services. It basically not only provides the management functions but it offers communication between itself and the other TMN networks. TMN also provides the organized architecture to achieve the interconnection between different OS. So I have discussed some points which would be better understood as we are going to see the diagram associated with it. But before one should understand who introduced the term TMN. The TMN term was introduced by a standard called as ITUT where ITUT stands for International Telecommunication Union for Telecom Sector. One should also understand who defined the concept of TMN. The concept of TMN was defined by recommendation M.3010. TMN has a strong relationship with the OSR management and defines a number of concepts that have relevance for internet management. According to this recommendation, telecommunication management network is conceptually different network from the communication network to be specific DCN which stands for data communication network. This management network interfaces with the communication network at multiple places and helps manage the underlying 
communication network efficiently so this is a very very important diagram associated with telecommunication management network where this dotted line indicates the tmn part which means telecommunication management network while this shaded part indicates the telecommunication network wherein the two customers are being connected with the help of different exchanges and transmission system here if you observe carefully tmn network is being connected to the telecommunication network with the help of os and dcn where dcn stands for data communication network here tmn have multiple interfaces tmn have multiple interfaces with telecommunication network so here if you observe there is not a single interface with telecommunication network here multiple interfaces are being done by the tmn to the telecommunication network why this multiple interfaces are being done this multiple interfaces are being done to collect the information from the telecommunication network the information whatever being collected from the telecommunication network is being processed by the operating system of the telecommunication management network now after processing the information collected from the telecommunication network os plays an important role for the different management function because it performs different management function on the telecommunication network it may happen a single management function may be performed by multiple os so in that case if a single management function is being performed by multiple os they need a communication among themselves and this communication among multiple os is being done through the dcn network which means data communication network so whenever a question is being asked on tmn this diagram must be drawn in your answer so talking about this diagram according to the image tmn interfaces with telecommunication network at multiple places this interfacing is used to collect important information to understand the status of the network this status is then processed by the os where os is essentially a program which is operating at the application layer of the os reference model the os perform the majority of the management function which may be carried out by the human operator or it may be done automatically it may happen that a single management function can be performed by multiple os in this case dcn plays a major role to exchange the information among multiple os network management also involves oam and p when o stands for operation a stands for administration m stands for maintenance and p stands for provisioning talking about the conceptual model here if you look carefully tmn supports interconnection of different service provider of telecommunication network so here service provider a having different customers with different network with different workstation and os having communicated or interconnection with different service provider having different customers network os and workstation with the help of tmn so basically tmn provides efficient interconnection and interfaces among different service provider it may also offer communication between two tmn of a different network in order to support 
the management of international and national telecommunication network also where if you look over here os stands for operating system where x is nothing but shown as interfaces q3 and f are nothing but different interfaces associated with tmm tmn provides management function for telecommunication networks and services it not only provide management function but it also offers communication between itself and the telecommunication network and services the concept behind a tmn is to provide an organized architecture to achieve the interconnection between various types of os and the telecommunication equipment the objective for tmn specification is to provide a framework for telecommunication management by introducing a generic network model tmn is intended to support a wide variety of management area which will cover planning installation operation administration and maintenance and provisioning of the telecommunication networks and the services at last we'll try to understand how tmn is different from communication network a tmn can vary in complexity from a simple connection to a complex connection interconnecting different types of os and telecommunication equipment a tmn also provide management function and offer communication between os themselves and between the os and the various part of telecommunication network a tmn may also offer communication between two tmn of different networks in order to support the management of international and national telecommunication network a tmn network may have analog as well as digital telecommunication network with supported equipment such as transmission system switching system multiplexers front end processors main frames different controllers and the file servers a tmn is conceptually a separate network that interfaces a telecommunication network at several different points to send and receive information to and from it to control its operation a tmn may use part of the telecommunication network to provide its communication so with this we understood how tmn is different from the communication network and how tmn plays a major role for achieving different management functions for telecommunication network as well as how efficient communication can take place between different tmn networks as well as it provides an organized architecture <clears throat> for efficient interconnection of os so i'm ending my video lecture with this topic in the next lecture we'll try to understand the exact tmn architecture thank you